Hey guys, it's been known that the Rich Merchant's Ring is one of Black Desert's rarest items in the game. On top of its extremely difficult acquisition, it boasts a powerful permanent effect that directly affects the in-game economy. In this video, I will go over its history, effects, acquisition, as well as tips and easter eggs about the ring. All sources will be linked in the description below for reference. Black Desert has always had these interesting rare items or quests that the devs have gone great lengths to keep a secret. A good example of this is the Mystical Fish quest that was recently finished this year and has been hinted at for the past few years. It allowed the person who acquired the Mystical Fish to summon the real boss Vel. There is another secret alchemy quest that involves summoning Zarka, but that is yet to be discovered, and I do believe it exists. Going back to the Rich Merchant's Ring, the original way of acquisition required the person to have sufficient trading level to do imperial trading across the Valencian region, and at a very small chance would receive a piece of the ring upon selling the trade items. Due to this, it is highly speculated that the Rich Merchant's Ring has technically been in the game since the Valencia region has been added. Before the central market existed, items listed on the market required players to bid on an item, to which they would, at RNG's mercy, be selected to successfully purchase the item. You may remember this as the term sniping off the market. What the Rich Merchant's Ring essentially did back then was give the player an increased chance of successfully sniping an item off the market. I couldn't personally say how effective this effect would have been since there are no records of anyone having the ring back then, but I could imagine the influence it could have done to the market if the right person had it. With that being said, due to the introduction of the central market and the overall of how transactions of items have changed, the effect of the Merchant's Ring has also changed. It now gives the player a permanent 5% marketplace tax reduction to all items sold in the market. Now, I'm terrible at math, but thankfully someone's already did the math, and this effect essentially equates to about a 2-3% increase in silver when selling items after tax. You might not think that this is that big of an effect, but if you consider that people are now commonly selling items up to 100 billion silver, or even selling items over and over again that accumulate up to 100 billion silver. That's an extra 2 to 3 billion silver you could have received. Additionally, the effect of the ring continues to permanently gain value as time passes because you are continuously selling items on the market. As for how to acquire the ring pieces, I will first go over the original way of acquiring the specific piece and then its new method. I will also put a disclaimer that these methods of acquisition mentioned are only the currently confirmed ways to get the pieces, so there could be more than the ones mentioned in the future. The original way requires you to do imperial trading, and you'll need at least Master 6 trading to have access to all the items. The new methods more so involve grinding mobs to drop the ring pieces. Based on the stats of acquiring the ring piece through trading, I would recommend the route of grinding the mobs. Though I could see the appeal of acquiring the ring piece through trading if you do not have the gear score to grind the areas mentioned. For piece number one, you must pick up these items from the Valencian trade manager called Yes, located here, and sell them to any trade manager. In this case, there is conveniently a second trade manager in Valencia called Barita that you can go to and is located here. The rate for this piece is 30 out of 1 million, or 0.003%. I will mention again that I'll link the Google spreadsheet and the rest of my sources in the description below. The new method to get this piece requires quite a high gear score because you will need to visit one of the most dangerous grind zones in Black Desert. This place is Ash Forest. The ring piece is confirmed to drop from the Volcrest mob, which is the big red ghost with a scythe. I personally have gotten this piece after about 65 hours of grinding. I do think this is one of the more common pieces based on me knowing quite a few people who have gotten this piece as well. For piece number 2, you must pick up these items from the Valencian trade manager called Barretta and sell them to any trade manager. As mentioned in the first ring piece, you can go to the other trade manager in Valencia called Yis. 
These two pieces kind of go in tandem with one another because you can knock out two birds with one stone by going back and forth between these two trade managers to try and get both ring piece 1 and 2. The rate for this piece is 3 out of 1 million, or 0.0003%. The new method to get this piece is to grind Paddock's Island or Sea Monsters in the Magoria Sea. At Paddock's Island, the confirmed drop for this piece is from the Drunk Treasure Hunter, which looks like a pirate dwarf with a matchlock. As for sea monsters, it is confirmed to drop from the Saltwater Crocodile, the Candidum, the Nine Shark, and the Black Rust. For piece number 3, you must pick up these items listed from the Trade Manager at Sand Green Bazaar, Shakatu, Rock Post, Ibalab Oasis, and Ruined City of Rune. Again, just find the nearest Trade Manager to sell them. The rate for this piece is 3 out of 1 million, or 0.0003%. The new method to get this piece is to grind Sakraya in both the upper and lower ruins. It is confirmed to drop from the damaged Lycan in upper Sakraya and the Elmer Mall in lower Sakraya. It is also confirmed to drop from any Dark Rift boss. There are also supposedly two more uncommon methods to acquire them, which is opening the randomly spawning boxes at Achilles Eye or getting the ring piece as a special barter offer. Through my research, I have not been able to confirm these two uncommon methods, but are known because they have been data mined. For piece number 4, you must pick up these listed items from the trade manager at Ibalab Oasis, Ankado Inner Harbor, and Orisha Island. If you are a barterer and commonly go to Hakoven Island to do the barterer over there, while pathing back, you can pick up the items from Ankado on your ship, Go and sell your items at Arisha Island, pick up more items from Arisha Island, and then go back to Ilya Island to sell out the rest of your trade items as well as restock your barter items. This doesn't take too much extra time and you'll have a chance to receive this piece. You can also use a wagon to go from Ankado to Valencia to do this as well. The rate for this piece is 3 out of 1 million, or 0.0003%. The new method for this piece is to go to the hardest grind zone in the game currently, which is Crypt of Resting Thoughts. The confirmed drop for this piece is the Ahi Dark Mage, but the area requires an extremely high gear score to grind. I have been in contact with people who have gotten this piece and was advised to duo the area since it is significantly easier with another person. According to them, this piece is actually quite a high drop rate and I've seen very low amounts of hours ranging from 10 minutes to 23 hours to get this ring piece. But a reminder that this is RNG, so you could just get unlucky. For piece number 5, you must go to the trade manager at Arihaza and pick up these items. There is also another trade manager at the Red Player Town, but you are required to have negative karma to access him, so it's not recommended. The nearest trade manager you can go to is the one in Valencia. The rate for this piece is 1 out of 1 million, or 0.0001%. The new method to get this piece is to go to Olin Valley. Despite the in-game map labeling this area as a 300 AP zone, it is definitely able to be grinded fairly efficiently at a lower gear score if you know the mechanics of the zone. The piece is confirmed to drop from both the Olin's Golem and its left arm when it breaks. If you somehow manage to acquire all the ring pieces, this pattern on screen is how you'll be able to combine them. You will need one resplendent topaz, one red and blue coral, one rough, regular, and resplendent ruby and sapphire. Because the ring pieces all look the same, I would advise you to place them in the region storage to keep track of each unique piece. In this case, for piece number one, I would put the ring piece in the storage of Grana because it drops from Ash Forest. For piece two, I would store it in Calfion because it drops from Paddock's Island. For piece three, I would store it in Velia because it drops from Sakraya. For piece four, I would store it in Odraxia because it drops from Crypt of Resting Thoughts. For piece five, because the piece also drops in the region of Adraxia from Olin Valley, I would store it in your inventory. I was also informed that the ring pieces arrange themselves in order from 1 to 5 if you turn on auto arrange. In the summer of 2020, Black Desert held an event called the Mysteries of Summer that required players to go on a treasure hunt to solve clues which would eventually lead to acquiring an item called the Lion's Ring. This is a special alternate version of the Rich Merchant's Ring Piece that gives the same effect, and there is only ever one in each region. 
To note, the effects of the two rings do not stack. The ring is also considered a consumable and is not wearable. When used, it does not disappear and you can continue to link it in chat. The name of the translated version of the ring in Korea is actually called the Colossus's Ring. I'm not sure when they changed the name of the trash at Olin's Valley, but it was originally called the Merchant Prince's Heart Piece, which kind of sounds like the Rich Merchant's Ring Piece. Now the trash is called Golem's Heart Fragment. With that being said, I think I've covered pretty much everything you need to know about the Rich Merchant's Ring. And that brings us to the end of the video. I am slowly working my way towards getting the pieces myself, and I thought I'd share with you guys the knowledge that I've come across while researching it. It is definitely Black Desert's rarest item in the game, so it's going to be a long journey. I hope you'll continue to join me on it. Once again, I'd like to thank my patrons over at Patreon. Content like this is only possible because of you guys. Because of people like Chris, Mine Krako, Squish, and especially people like Irasori, Arakari, BNXD, Uakia, Daniel Fensel, Team Joe, and Flamey. If you'd also like to support me on Patreon, please check out the link in the description below. See you on the next one. And I don't know what went wrong